This is our fourth and the last video when learning about the survival analysis. In the previous example, we discussed about uh, in the previous two videos, we talked about how to uh, make the Kaplan Meier plots and how to work with comparing the survival curve for, for more than two groups. So this time we are working, uh, we, we discuss about the limitation of survival curve that if we have more than two variable, we cannot, uh, it will become too much complicated to work with the log rent test or the kaplan meier curve. So we propose one more uh, strategy, which is the Cox proportional hazard model. It, it uh, actually uh, study the effect of multiple covariate on the survival time of the patient with certain event. And it is a most commonly, uh, uh, statistical method to observe the survival method, uh, survival uh, analysis uh, when we in the in term of regression. And model obtained is called conservation model. In the series of, of, of our video, we are discussing the example of dying from lung cancer, which is our dependent variable. Our time variable is the survival time and uh, the, for this example, we are going to use the covariate age, uh, which is our continuous variable, and the race and the gender uh, will is our smoking group, race and gender is our factor, our categorical covariate. So how to perform uh, this Cox model in the S piece it is basically analyzing the data, I'm going to analyze survival, and then we have the function of the Cox regression. We will click on it. In the Cox function, we will first of all specify the time variable and then the status variable. We know the coding of the death and the sensor. The death is, uh, death is our event, our status, which is coded as, as one, while the sensor observation are coded as zero. So here we will define the status. One will be our event and the zero will be the automatically sensor observation. In the covariate, since we are working with the smoking group, age, race, and gender, at this moment, we are applying the multivariable Cox regression. For univariable Cox regression, we have to actually see the effect of each variable individually. So we will transfer all these uh, in the covariate term. And in the categorical, we will uh, define, we have the categorical observation like gender, uh, race, and the group. These are the categorical covariate for us. And the age is basically our continuous covariate. So we will keep it uh, outside. So we'll press continue, we will press, uh, sorry. In the option, we will click on the CI for exponential beta. This will yield the hazard ratio. The hazard ratio from the cost regression model. We will press continue and we will press OK. And uh, here we go. There are different model. First of all, our main concern is about the categorical variable coding. Like we, uh, the, the table is showing the coding they took. For example, uh, for the smoker, they coded as one and the non-smoker will be our reference category, which is the zero. Uh, which is a, a zero category at this moment. So we are, the hazard ratio will be interpreted for the smoker because it has one category. Similarly, for the male, they took the value as one. For the female, the value is zero. So the hazard ratio obtained for the gender will be interpreted for the male. Similarly, for the race, we have white, Hispanic, Asian, and African. So African was the baseline category because it is zero for all, while the white, Hispanic, and the Asian, like uh, the race, uh, race will be, uh, we, will, uh, we, will up, we will receive three hazard ratio, one for the white, another for the Hispanic, another for the Asian. The first will be the for the white, two is for the Hispanic, third is for the Asian, and all of these hazard ratio will be compared using the African because it will be zero, for all of them, because it will be the reference category. Then we have this table variable in the equation. As we told, 
that we have the exponential beta, which is a hazard ratio. It is, uh, it has the upper limit and the lower limit, and these are the p value. So, for example, like age in year had the hazard ratio is one point one one three. So we can interpret it like, uh, like with the increase of one year of age, uh, the chances of dying from the lung cancer will be eleven point three percent. 11.3% because it is beyond uh, uh, it is between 1 and 2 and we subtract it from the 1 which come out to be 11.13% 11.3% and the conflict uh, interval value has the uh, has a uh, lower limit and the upper limit has more more than one uh, observation so we can also assume that the p value is significant similarly when we are talking about the race one, the race one is for the white people as we discussed in our categorical variable coding in this uh, table. The first one is for the white, second is for the Hispanic, third is for the Asian. So here we have the first is for the white one. So the p-value, uh, so the uh, hazard ratio is 27.539 and the uh, confident level is a li limit is uh, too wide from 1.3 to 553. So this is also a significant uh, uh, confident level. So it means the white people corresponding to the African has 27% more chances of 27 times more chances of dying as compared to the African because African was the reference category. Similarly, second is our Hispanic. Hispanic has 40, 40 times more chances of dying as compared to the African and its confident level is also more than one. So we can see, we can say that it is a significant one. But look at the Asian. The Asian P, uh, the Asian uh, uh, hazard ratio is 7.968, but its confidence limit is from 0.59 to 105. It means the one lie in between. When the limit, upper limit and the uh, lower limit of the hazard ratio contains a one, so it means it will also have a non-significant effect. So although the hazard ratio is very much high, but it is uh, the Africa, the Asian does not have different survive, uh, hazard of dying from lung cancer as compared to the African. Let's talk about the male and female. This is talking about the male as because the female has a zero category and the male has the one, one coding as, to, as took by the SPSS. So we will say uh, we will see that the ha hazard ratio is 0.535, which implies that okay, the male have 50% sorry 47% less chances of dying. But uh, how 47% uh, less means because one minus 0.535 is 47 46.5, which is approximately to 47%. But look at the confident level. It is from 0 to 3.0, which means it has the one in between. So it means the effect of the gender on the on dying from the lung cancer is insignificant. So this is how we obtain the Cox regression from SPSS. And this is how we interpret the Cox regression as it is shown in the slide also. So basically, the uh, hazard ratio is the exponential beta. And the, we, we, can, we can check the significance of the hazard ratio using the confident limit and also from the significance value. So here we go. Uh, the hazard ratio is basically the exponential beta, which is approximately equal to relative risk also. So we can determine the significance using the confident level in the chi-square test. So this was a summary for the four lecture we have. Survival analysis basically quantified time to a single dichotomous image. Uh, uh, at the basic level, and it handles the sensor data, which means if we have the loss to follow or we have incomplete observation, or the subject die because of subject get the event of uh, event because of the any other reason. So this is the sensor data. We obtain the kaplan meier curve, and we can plot simply, and we can also compare statistically using log rank test, and we can uh, also achieve the cost proportion hazard model which actually can count for the different covariate so far this was uh, the cover this was the cover we co this was the concept we cover in the whole lecture thank you for watching